We looked at patients who are hospitalized with pneumonia and antibiotic use in those patients because pneumonia accounts for about a third of all antibiotic use during hospitalization. And there are also still a whole lot of questions about how to optimally treat patients with pneumonia. What antibiotics do you start with? How long should they get antibiotics? When can you stop them? There have been recently a lot of randomized controlled trials that have come out showing that if a patient is getting better, they don't need these long antibiotic courses. You know, if you looked back 20, 30 years to a patient who was hospitalized with pneumonia, they'd often get antibiotics for weeks. And now we know that for most patients, as long as they're feeling better um, and their vital signs have normalized and their fever's gone away, they can usually get away with five days of antibiotic treatment. And the nice thing about these short courses of therapy is maybe you don't need to be in the hospital as long, um, and there are fewer side effects from it and less impact on antibiotic resistance. And so we looked at these new criteria and the results of the randomized trial to show how many patients are getting antibiotics for these short durations versus getting them kind of still the way that we used to, which is really long. And what we found is that two thirds of patients that we looked at are receiving antibiotics for longer than necessary. One of the key findings we took away from this is that this excess duration of treatment is actually happening after patients leave the hospital. Because we're now getting to the point where for the most part, patients don't need to stay in the hospital for long periods of time. As they're leaving the hospital, maybe they only need a day or two of antibiotics, but instead they're being prescribed these long courses of therapy. I'm not sure, both from the patients and from phys physicians, whether it's really well known yet that short courses are just as safe as long courses. So I think that this research will help address that because now we know that, we found that there's harm with these longer courses, so hopefully that kind of solves that part of the problem.